tyre update. So the uh, end is coming loose on the inflator. Which is funny. So you see, <coughs> it was five degrees at four, four o'clock yesterday. It's now what, nine o'clock the next day. Let's see what it's at now. It's still at 40. You couldn't bloody make it up, could you? Never mind, that's good. Um, we'll chuck it back on the trailer and the trailer service will again. Winner! Hello and welcome to another episode of Rory's Workshop. Today we're going to be quite busy reattaching these attachment lugs onto this sort of grader. Um, it's been working fine over the last couple of years, but unfortunately it's been working fine going in this direction. But he tried it in reverse and well this happened. But these things happen, things do break, that's why we're here to fix them. Um, I'll show you the welds that were on it. So you can see the, uh, the welds didn't penetrate on, obviously down here, they didn't penetrate the metal. <clears throat> Was it the other ones? They were alright. But I think what we're going to do is, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, I'll reattach them in the original position. I'll cut away obviously all the, I'll clean it all up and do a, a good job. But what I'm going to do is, um, I've come across some plate. So I'm going to probably gus it, gus it, in the corner, just to try and spread the load out a bit and, and try and make it a little bit stronger. Um, I'll clean everything up and I'll bring you back then. So I've finally got them all off. This one held on a little bit harder than what I thought it would. I don't know if you can see, but there's down here it's started to where well it has sheared away from the, the actual box section and again here. So I'll do is I'll uh, I'll weld that back together. I'll grind all this up and then weld it back together. This one was held on a, a lot better. It certainly didn't want to let go. That's probably from what you've just seen. Um, and yeah, that's about where we are. I'll clean everything up and I'll uh, bring you up to speed in a minute. So, as you can see, I've changed into my welding jacket. It's um, quite nice. It tends not to burn as badly as a nylon jumper. <laughs> uh, so what I've done is uh, obviously cleaned up the actual uh, blade itself. Uh, I've cleaned up and I've, I've actually added, rather than beforehand, it was a pure 90 degree fit up against it, but I've put a 45 degree chamfer all the way around it. Uh, you can see I put a couple of tacks in ready um, and now it's vaguely vertical for agricultural work. And now I'll zip up uh, and any, any repairs that I need to do, I'll, I'll put it in now. I'll probably run two welds on the inside before we start looking at fitting the, the gusset. Um, I'm unsure if I'm going to fit the gusset or not. I think I might do because I'm here, but it might be a bit of overkill, but hey, I specialise in overkill. And then practically it'll be the same on this side. Um, just obviously the exact opposite. Um, what I'll do now is I'll roll a time lapse because we are like a time lapse because things happen quickly. Um, and then we'll go from there. Ciao. So that's it. They're all fully welded in. <laughs> Quite happy with them. They turned out quite nice. Obviously welded all the way around. Um, got a little bit porous out here, but I'm not too worried because it's actually nowhere near. I totally missed the piece that I was looking at. Um, I'm not going to gusset it because, to be honest, this has been perfectly fine for years. Um, and those welds are probably, well, hopefully, a bit stronger than what the ones that were holding on beforehand. Um, seems to have penetrated quite well. Um, yeah, I think it'll be all right. I'll um, turn it around, we'll hook a tractor on and we'll take it out. But I think 
that'll do for today's little episode. It's only a short one because, well, recently I'm having quite a lot of internet trouble, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't stop me from doing what I want to do. Um, so yeah, I'll wrap up now. Thanks for watching. See you later. I had a small change of heart and we've added in the two gussets. Whilst it's here, I've got all the equipment out. It takes 10 minutes to throw them in. Uh, quite happy with the welds. I'm very happy with them, really. They've turned out fine. Um, and this is now probably a little bit stronger than what it was before. But only time will tell. I'm a wanted man. But I think that'll do for today. Um, I'm going to tidy up around the workshop, really, and there's, there's no point showing you that because it's boring. Um, but thanks for swinging on by. Bye now.